Dune the Sisterhood has finally been greenlit by HBO Max. Thanks to Denise Villeneuve's 2021 movie, we are getting a prequel series this year. Few people know that Frank Herbert's Dune universe is on par with other fictional universes like Middle Earth and Westeros. There is so much to explore in that universe and this series is just the beginning. It's about the mysterious order of being Jesterit and its origins. So what is this order of powerful women? And what is their importance in the Dune saga? Well, stay with us until the end of this video because today we are going to give you a sneak peek into this upcoming TV show. Has spoken. House Atreides shall immediately take control. No one imagined the success and hype when Denis released the first Dune movie. It became a critical and commercial hit across the globe. Apart from generating a huge profit, it won six Oscars from its ten nominations. Such popularity and hype were a golden chance for Warner Bros. to further explore the work of Frank Herbert. In this literary work, Frank wrote an entire history of this fictional universe. He wrote about the period long before Paul Atreides was born and also wrote about the times long after Paul's death. In this vast time, there are many individuals and organizations who affected the fate of humanity. In such organizations, the one stood prominent due to its power, influence and hidden agenda. This organization we are talking about is none other than Bean Gesserit. You can watch this group's power in the 2021 movie or previous adaptations. Thankfully, to quench our thirst for answers about this secret order, HBO is releasing a TV show based on its history. But before we delve into the details of the show, let us tell you about this mysterious group of women. This is a secretive and powerful group in the world of the Dune novels. They have special skills and receive extensive training in many areas like politics, religion and mind control. They also have ancient knowledge passed down through generations. This knowledge includes old rituals, prophecies and an understanding of the spice found on Arrakis. With this knowledge, they have a deep understanding of how the universe works. The women in this group are skilled at manipulating others and shaping history. They are especially good at breeding and one to create a superior human called the Quasars. With their mystical abilities and understanding of people's minds, they play an important role in the power struggles of the Dune world. They are very dedicated to their cause and follow strict principles. Because of their mysterious goals and actions behind the scenes, they are often called space witches or monks in the novel. Throughout Herbert's all novels, you can see the effect this group has on other characters. That's why with all this potential and history, it was a wise decision to bring it to our screen. The upcoming series take us back a whopping 10,000 years in a time long before the birth of Paul Atreides. It draws inspiration from the book Sisterhood of Dune by Brian Herbert, the son of the original author. The book explores what happened after the Great Revolt, a conflict that wiped out advanced technology and computers. The story revolves around Griffin and Walia, the eldest children of the Harkonnen family. You might remember the Harkonnens and the antagonists led by Vladimir Harkonnen in the film. Griffin and Walia's journey parallels that of the main characters in the series. They aim to rebuild their family's wealth and reputation while playing a commercial part in the emergence of the Sisterhood, a group that will later be known as Bene Gesserit across the universe. According to HBO Max's official synopsis, the show is set to take place 10,000 years before Paul Atreides' rise. The hero from the 1965 novel Dune, it will follow the two Harkonnen sisters as they face off against forces that threaten humanity's future and establish the legendary group. When it comes to the actors, Emily Watson has been chosen to play Walia Harkonnen. The search is still going to find the right person for the role of her sister, Tula. The rest of the cast includes Indira Verma as Empress Natalia, along with Sarah Sophie, Shlom Brune Franklin, Jade Anuka, Chris Mason, Josh Houston, Edward Davis and Chloe Lea. Denis Villeneuve is serving as a producer for the show, while Alison is leading this project as the director. It is expected to hit our screens after the theatrical release of Dune Part 2. It means we can expect this series at the start of 2024. For more updates, subscribe to the Cineflix News.